All right, you guys, we are recording. I am so excited for the special guest that we have on here tonight. She probably doesn't know it, but I have like seriously loved watching her join from the moment like she came into the door from this business. I saw she like literally exploded from day one. So I'm so excited for you guys to hear her story. So without any further ado, Debbie, would you please just kind of give us a brief little introduction of you, who you are, where you came from, like who you were before it works, kind of how you came across us, and then just a little story of kind of how you got to where you are today, which is a super successful double diamond. So the mic is over to you, woman. Thank you. Thank you, Chrissy. Thank you for asking me. First and foremost, um, it took me by surprise, but always ready. I, I stay ready. <laughs> so, um, I am Debbie. Um, for anyone who don't know who I am on Facebook, my name is Debbie Gogetta. Um, that name has been my name for well over 10 years on Facebook. I have always been a go-getter with whatever I set my mind to do. Um, I've been in the business since November of 2017. So my son was about three months old. Um, he's going to be two in August. So whew, time flies when you're having fun. Um, and um, at the time of my life, I was not. I was looking for it works, but not it works. I was looking for money. I was stressed and I actually wasn't looking. I was just stressed, complaining, um, broke down, depressed. I was everything, you name it. I'm active duty Navy. I've been in the Navy for nine years. Well, nine and a half years. And um, the Navy was not paying my bills <laughs> at the end of the day. Started off great, you know, without kids. And then I had my daughter, she's going to be five on Thursday. And then I had my son and the pay didn't go up. <laughs> so um, I was stressed. I, I was stressed. And then I got a dose of being a stay at home mom. Um, so the Navy changed their rules where you no longer stay home with your kid for six weeks. You do three months. So I got the, I got to stay at home for three months and I, Loved it. When I tell you I loved it, I was cooking dinners for my husband, cleaning up the house, doing like, I was teaching my daughter at home because we couldn't afford to send her to daycare. We just couldn't. So I had her at home with me for the three months. I was teaching her. I was exclusive breastfeeding my son. I was just a well-rounded mom. Stressed, but broke, but well-rounded. Um, so I made a post. Well, let me track back a little bit. I was in a natural birth group, and that's where I met Lauren. Lauren Murphy, she's my sponsor. Hey, Lauren, love you. <laughs> so um, she's my sponsor, and I posted my, um, my gender reveal, or I should say my birth, my, my announcement, my baby announcement in the group, and an overwhelming response. And Lauren loved the picture, and she sent me a friend request. I added her, and we didn't talk. She, she just added me. And I just looked at her, never thought that could be me. I was just like, wow, she's lucky. That's nice. Is this true? Eh, I don't know. I had all kinds of thoughts. <laughs> so never thought of messaging her. I never liked. I never commented. I, never, I did nothing on her newsfeed. I just watched. Um, so one day I posted that I was getting, I was going, I was getting ready to go back to work. So I was like two weeks out of my three months and I was like sick to my stomach. And I posted how I love being a stay at home mom. And I just wish that I can get my Navy pay and still be at home and do what I've done for the past three months. You know, just thinking out loud on Facebook, you know, um, and long message me like a couple of days later. Uh, and she messaged me. We've never interacted. She just sent me a broad, just simple message like, hey, I, th I think it would be great. Now, mind you, I'm on Facebook like all day long. I'm sharing posts like every 10 minutes. So I'm just Facebook all the time. Um, and she messaged me and I gave her, I told her, hey, just call me. Um, at that moment, I really, really needed it works. I was stressed. Um, I was actually thinking about selling my car. I have a 2013 
truck and I was at that day I talked to my husband and I said maybe I should sell we should I should sell my truck and just get something where we don't have a car note because that would that would lighten the load because now I'm two weeks out to go back to work and we can't afford to send the kids to daycare what am I going to do and he was just like no you know we'll figure it out and I kind of told Lauren I told Lauren give me a week I was waiting for payday I think I was waiting for the 15th um so I told her, give me a week. Uh, the 15th came. I gave her, I told her Wednesday. And then Wednesday came and I was like, she really messaged me on Wednesday. <laughs> you know? Um, and then I told her no on Wednesday. And then um, life happened after I told her no. And I was like, what are you thinking? Spend this $100. And if you don't like this business, make it back and keep it moving. You don't know her, you'll be fine. <laughs> you know? Um, and I, I messaged her back the next day, and I'm like, hey, okay, I'm going to join. What do I need to do? And the rest was history. I joined, um, and I was nervous. I really didn't want to do the business. I was just like, why did I do this? I don't want to post. I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't want to post on my social media. I don't want my friends to know I'm doing it works. It was just so much. Um, and then... Lauren tagged me in my like welcome post and I was like, why is she tagging me in this? Like, no, <laughs> you know? And then that night I had a conversation with myself. I said, okay, girl, you are broke. You are broke. You want the best for your kids. Is either you're gonna do this or you're not. And I decided that night that I am going to do this and I am going to give it my all. I didn't have a time frame. I didn't have, I'm gonna see what happens in 30 days. I didn't have, I'm gonna see what happens in a year. I was just like, if she can do it, I can do it. And I'm gonna do it. And the rest was history. I never stopped promoting my business. I started and I have not stopped and I'm not going to stop. I seriously love that, but there's a few different things that I want to like point out here. Um, Sorry, I just muted you real quick while I'm talking because I was echoing. Um, a few things that I wanted to point out. One, you probably would not be here today had Lauren popped into your inbox there. So instead of her sitting back just waiting for you to hopefully one day come to you, like she took matters into her own hands and she got into your inbox. And I think that is something that needs to be known to every single one of us that we can't just be fishermen in our business. Like we can't just put the bait out there and just wait for people to take the bite and come to us. Like we've got to take control of it. And she did that and look of where you are today. And she followed up with you a number like two. So important thing. And the fact that you said no, and you are still here into this business today. But I also love that you never gave yourself a deadline here. And I think that so much needs to be known because so many times, so many of us were like, okay, if I'm not Ruby in six months, I'm going to quit this business. Or if I'm not making $2,000 in six months, I'm going to quit this business. But the problem, whenever we do that, we've already got quitting in the back of our mind and we can't truly give this business a shot if we're just one foot in, one foot out and just ultimately waiting for that failure to happen. Because I think that's what happens when we give ourselves that deadline there. So I absolutely love that you said that. Um, but I also love how you said how busy you are and you seriously are freaking busy doing literally your active duty in the Navy. You're a mom of two and you're in, are you in school too? There we go. I was, I was when I started, um, I'm not in school right now, but I am starting back, um, in the fall. See that, I mean, so there's, it goes to show that it doesn't matter how busy you are. Like as long as you've got the determination and the mindset to just go after this and do it, like you can truly achieve anything here. So being so busy in your life outside of it works, like how do you still find the time to be so successful building your business here? Like how do you work your business into those pockets of your day? So um, I would say first and foremost, I am intentional. I in the beginning, it was a little bit easier because um, I was just, well, 
you would think it would be hard because I just started back work, but it was a little bit easier because I wasn't at work. I didn't have a full workload for the first few weeks. So it was a little bit easier in the beginning. Um, and as my team started to grow, it became harder and harder. Um, so I just became intentional. Um, at the time, and I remember when I joined, um, Lauren did a Zoom and she said that, you know, we need to find out who we are and who we want to sell to the world. So I had to sit back and really think about who do I want my news, how do I want my news feed to see me? You know, um, in a year from now, what do I want? And I chose Inspire. So like for almost a year, my background said Inspire. And it was because it was a reminder for myself. Um, and also it was a goal. It was a reminder, this is what I need to do. And a goal, this is what I want to be. I want to inspire. So with doing that, I had to be intentional. So um, even though I'm not like now, even though I'm not in school right now, I have a test um, at 7.30 in the morning um, in the Navy. So I've been literally sitting right in this spot after I fed the kids, made sure that they were good. And I've been studying and I've been messaging <laughs> like back and forth because this business is not going to run itself. Your team needs to see you and want to reach your, your standing. You can't, I, I look at it like if I want a successful team, if I want hard chargers, I need to be that hard charger. And what do I need to do to become that hard charger? And that is work. That is stay consistent. That is inspire. Um, that is motivate. And that is challenge. I freaking love it. No excuses. Essentially, that's, like, that's what it is when it comes to you. I feel like it's no excuses and being super intentional. And with that, I, like, I think so many times we're like, okay, it's my time to work my business right now. And we get our phone out and we're like, okay, but what, what am I supposed to do right now? Knowing like what you are going to do once you get that intentional work time there and just putting your head down and just doing it. Because once we, I mean, so many of us, like we get this free time and then we come up, become a mom in this business and we're like, okay, what the heck did I do? And how did I build this business before? And so whenever you get into that mindset of just being intentional, that's whenever like you're going to really reap what you sow here. So I absolutely love that you pointed that out and touched base on that. Okay. So for you personally, would you consider yourself a steps to success girl or are you more like a mass and roller girl? So I like to consider myself in the middle of both. <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie. There are months that goes by and I don't sign any distributors. And then there are months that goes by that I sign 10 distributors, eight distributors. You know, there are some months that goes by and I sign one, you know. Um, so I like to be, my goal is always to be a step to success girl. Um, but I am more in the middle. My customers, I wouldn't consider my customers as mass enrolling, but my average is about 15 to 21, 22 a month. 12 is like my low end. Um, so my balance is a little off, but that's personally my own fault. <laughs> I, I say mean, that. I'm just going to go ahead and point out that I think you are a mass enroller if you're enrolling 20 plus loyal customers in that. <laughs> I think that is pretty amazing. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and consider you a mass enroller. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So okay. How do you feel like you get majority of your loyal customers and your distributors? Like, do you, are you like a social media girl with host to posts and stories messaging? What do you feel like is like your strong suit at growing your business? I am, I am super relatable. I, I do a lot of host to posts, but legitimately everyone on my page, I don't want to say that they think they are my friends because truly in my head, these are my friends. <laughs> You know, um, but I'm super relatable. Like this, and I made a post that um, I didn't even put where I live because I know majority of people know that I'm in Virginia by now on my news feed. So I made a post and said, hey, I'm having a cookout. Who, who wants to cookout? <laughs> you know? And it was so many people that commented that I've never met, that I have never met, that it's my customer, that we've talked about the business, but they're just like, girl, you're so dope. I'm coming to your house. You're going to let me come? Of course. <laughs> and I think, yeah. I think what needs to be pointed out there is people probably feel that way because you are you on social media. 
at the end of the day. And people are connecting with you. And you said from the very beginning that Lauren kind of pointed out on a Zoom that you need to figure out who you wanted to be. And instead of you just coming into this business and you felt like you needed to become an It Works brand, because that is a role that so many of us try to step into and we get lost in that because you lose a sense of yourself. But if you come in here and you're like, okay, I need to brand myself. I need to figure out what I want to do here, who I want to be here. And that's probably why these people relate so much to you and feel like they know you as like their best friend at the end of the day. Right, right. And like, now I get a lot of like, girl, you're so, you're so um, uh, motivational and stuff. And I tell them I am real as they come. You know, when I started, I have this, this routine where I open my business with like motivation. And that came from when I joined the business, I was in a really dark place. Um, I didn't know where my life was going and I needed someone to give me a talk. And no one was there to give me a pep talk. So I gave myself a pep talk. And it started with posting every day something encouraging. And truly, it was encouraging for me to continue on my day. But then once I realized that it was helping my news feed, even when I got over my issues, I continued because I realized I wow, making an impact. And I stayed where I was. I'm, I am like the goofiest person that you'll ever meet. Um, I'm always laughing and I think everything's funny. So, <laughs> so I, I post funny stuff all the time. That's what I did before it works, except I shared it. Now I don't. Now I steal it and then post it. <laughs> you know the smart way to do it on social now. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Alrighty. So we've kind of established that you are a mass enroller. We're just going to go ahead and lay that one out there. <laughs> Um, and you do this a lot through just being you and real on social media. So what does a day look like for you right now? Like you said, you start your day off with like inspiration, motivation, kind of take us through like a day as a double diamond leader. Um, so I post my inspiration. Um, I'll talk to uh, my team throughout the day. Um, I message, I never, never, never go a day without messaging. I, I don't care how many times I post about it works on my wall, I message. Um, whether it's about the product, whether it's about the business, whether it's somebody's birthday, like today, there's this girl, my news feed, she's been wanting products and she didn't buy it. She ended up doing a keto diet and she left me on red. Actually, she stopped reading my messages like, months ago. So um, she posted her before and after pic by just doing the keto diet. It was amazing. So I sent her a message and I was like, hey, I was like, I just want to tell you, you look great. And, you know, congratulations. Like, I'm super proud of you. And we just got in a conversation. I didn't try to sell her anything. My intent is not to try to sell her anything. You know, she looked great. <laughs> you know, um, and we had a little conversation about how hard keto, the keto diet is in the beginning. And she was like, you know, you just, you just, you just so cool. She was like, I know I didn't buy anything from you and everything, and you still found to like just give me a, um, a compliment. And I was like, girl, compliments do what compliments do, and that was that. And you know, that's how I carry on my day. I engage with my followers. Um, I always make sure that if I if I add somebody new, I'm liking, loving, talking to them on their stuff. Um, I try to keep my post fresh. I try not to drown my page with all it works, you know, but I do try to make sure that I do a before and after, a call to action, um, a lifestyle, talk about my kids. Um, I don't really talk about the Navy too much because that's just depressing. <laughs> you know, but but um, I just try to keep it light. But I my non-negotiables is messaging. Um, for host to post, messaging for um, product testers, for filling spots, messaging for distributors, adding people every day. Um, and I find when I'm like scrolling too much, I was like, okay, girl, what are you doing? Go add some people. And then I go add some people. I find new groups. Um, I get into these fitness groups. And a lot of times these fitness people don't like you selling anything to them. So I go in there and they ask for recommendations. Guess what I do? I say, hey. I have a free app. Do you want to download it? <laughs> I just put it in the comments and just keep moving. <laughs> so, yeah. 
<laughs> That's absolutely perfect. And I love that you really touch base on the engagement side of things, because I think that's something that I know myself that I'm always in continually reminding myself like that. Engaging is just as important as messaging and messaging is just as important, important as um, posting because it's those behind the scenes things that other people don't see us do, but they are the most important things in our business getting in the inboxes and being on our potentials post and on their stories and everything else. So I think it's so perfect that you touch base on that. Okay. Let's kind of switch gears a little bit. I know you've only, it was, do you say it was November, 2018 or 17? A year and a half. Okay. So we'll be coming up on two years this fall. So yeah. along that year and a half time span, have you had, like, have you come across any hurdles or struggles, things that you've kind of had to overcome within the business? Yes, I have learned to not take the slow phase personal. That was major for me. December of last year was the worst month ever. And when I say this business is easy, but this business is not for the weak at heart. <laughs> it is not. Um, and if I was weak at heart, December of 2018, I probably would have walked away from it work because I just felt like I lost my mojo. I didn't know what was happening. I'm like, okay, what am I doing wrong? Um, it was just so much. I started to doubt myself. I got into a hole. I only enrolled like, I mean, it was like six customers. And I was like, what is going on? Because that's just not new. That's no, <laughs> you know? Um, and I really had to reevaluate myself. So for, for January of 2019, I decided that's when I started to pay attention to personal development. I've heard personal development for so long, and I was like, eh, I don't need that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and I really didn't do it. And then December hit, and it was like, okay, maybe I need this. Um, and that's when I really started personal development. Um, and I just believe in myself to know that as long as I am given 110% um, and not being ignorant to my fact that if there's something that I need to change, then change it, then I am completely okay with how the, the, how the chips fall as they may. And that was like a big hurdle for me because it really hurt my heart when I felt like, what? I suck? <laughs> you know, it really hurt my heart. Um, so that was big. Another thing that was big for me was people quitting. Um, I took I took two people that quit on my team personal, very personal, to the point where like one of them, the first one, I like was in tears, you know, um, because we were like friends, you know, and we knew each other for years, like teenagers and uh she joined the business quit you know went to a different company and i just felt back, like she backstabbed me like it was a whirlwind and i had to learn from that and then when it happened the second time it hurt again not as much but then i learned from that so that was like a big hurdle of me picking myself back up and not blaming myself because i actually started looking at myself like am i too harsh am i too much of a red um am i too blunt you know um and i just really had to do like self i had to like look into self so yeah that's perfect and i love that you like really touch base on the december of this past year because so many times that we all when we think of success we think of success like going like this and then like we know that there's going to be ebbs and flows there's going to be highs and lows and so you think you might have a high and then a low and then a high and then a low but when you look at the road to success you're going to have some highs and lows and then you're going to have some circles and you're going to have some twists and some turns but eventually you get there as long as you don't quit and so you didn't quit but you tapped into that personal development so what would you say your like biggest like turn away from the personal development was and like what's your favorite way to do personal development um, so be, I didn't do personal development because I felt like I didn't have the time to be honest with my busy schedule. I am really like goal and or oriented and like, I have to have a schedule. If I'm not on a schedule, I like lose my mind. Um, so I was like, I kept saying, I don't have time to sit down and read, you know, because it was just like, and when everybody talked about personal development, 
it was like, oh, read, girl, wash your face. Read, and I was like, I don't have that time, so I guess I'm not doing it, <laughs> you know? Um, and then when I realized that I needed it, I said, okay, girl, you need to figure out how you're going to do this. So how I started was as soon as I woke up, I would, well, before I go to bed, I will uh, go on YouTube and look for, and I actually got it from Cheyenne Knox. She's the one who said it, and I was like, girl, you're so smart. You know, but I went um, and I Googled motivational um, speeches on YouTube. And I looked it up the night before. I wake up in the morning, take my phone in the bathroom while I'm brushing my teeth, put it on. And as I'm brushing my teeth, I'm listening. And then I started sharing it with my team. Um, and it just, you know, it just became routine. Wake up, motivational speech. You know, and that helped me. That helped me with the hard days at work. Um, that helped me in my business, that helped me wake up, that helped me get pumped, that helped me remind myself that I am worthy and I can do this. That's so perfect. And I truly believe that the moment like we start the personal development within ourselves, that's whenever it's going to trickle down to our team. So I'm sure that you can see just a shift that's happened within your team just because you tapped into the personal development. So I love that so much. Okay. So I told you, you were going to share some final tips with us. So I'm going to like ultimately just give you the mic. If you just want to share just some final thoughts, tips, whatever you want to a newbie that's brand new in the business, maybe like their first month. And then also a tip to someone that's been in for a little bit. So just kind of share your words, your wisdom with them. Um, so first I want to say I've been going double diamond since July of 2018. Okay. I just want to put that out there every month since what was that green carpet every month since green carpet, I have been going double diamond every single month. Of course it didn't happen, but <laughs> every single month since then I was going. So my biggest key is like your success don't have, it doesn't have a timeline. It doesn't. Every time I think about, well, when I was going double diamond and I didn't make it, I never got discouraged to say, well, I didn't make double diamond. So I'm just going to quit. In my head, it was like, well, I didn't make double diamond, but November of 2017, I was so broke that I didn't even have money to pay for my kids to go to school. And this diamond check right now, I was paying for them to go to school, <laughs> you know? So I, I never got so far in my head where I was ungrateful to where I came. And that's one of the biggest things that I see in this business. You know, just keeping it real, I feel like, some people get to a place and then they feel stuck and then they start becoming ungrateful for where you are. Always be grateful for what you're going through, whether it's the good, the bad, or the ugly, because you are learning something. And let me tell you, when I went double diamond, I was so proud of myself because Lauren is always on my side and always in my corner. But let me tell you, this time around, you know, for diamond, it was like me and her going head to head. And this time around, it was like, okay, Debbie, where you at? I'm two customers away, Lauren. It's going to happen today, <laughs> you know? And it was just so pumped because I felt like, you know, I took control of my business and I ran with it. And I didn't need anyone to hold my hand. You know, my time was coming. It came and I conquered. Always remember that your time is coming and you will conquer is how bad you want it. So I guess that's for a newbie and um, someone who's been in the business for a long time, because it can be discouraging. You know, it, it definitely can. Um, I also want to say, um, stay consistent. It is great to look at leaders, and this is for the newbies. It is great to look at leaders and um, take things um, from leaders, but do that with, like, yourself in there. You know, that's what I did. I didn't know what I was doing when I started. When I started... My sponsor, Lauren Morphy, said, hey, she gave me my first post. She said, hey, every day you post one product um, a day and what it does. Okay. And I had to figure it out, you know, so I figured it out. And then I realized, like, everything I did, I did with, if I was not me and I was looking at this post, would I buy for myself? Every single post, that's what I did. And if I sound boring to myself, I'm not posting that. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, so just think like that and that will get you far because I think I went like Ruby in like two months and then I went Emerald like right after and I stayed at Diamond for almost a year, but that was the best $2,000 a month ever. <laughs> But just stay intentional. Newbies, get on every training. Get on every training. When I started this business, I didn't know what a hoster post was. This, the time when I started, we had a a um, Facebook Messenger group, and I did not know what hoster post was. And the only reason why I, I fell into host of posts was because I was in, on YouTube. I was going on YouTube and I was Googling top income earners. I was Googling how to become Ruby in X amount of days, you know, and then I came across this host of post stuff and I watched the whole YouTube on host of post. Then I posted, someone asked me a question about something that I had no idea what they were talking about. And I posted it in the, the page and everyone was like, wait, how did you get that person to say yes? I mean, all you asked them, I was like, oh, post post, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and just just always try to find ways to make your money. Always try to find ways to, to broaden your, um, your feed. Do not stick with the 500 friends you join. And by the way, when I joined this business, I had 312 friends and I knew every single one of them, <laughs> you know? Um, and usually that's a bad sign that this person might not be good in this business, but once you elevate your mind, you can do anything. Um, and for people who have been in for a long time, don't give up. December, I wanted to give up because December was the first time that I ever lost rank, you know, cause I legitimately thought that I was hot stuff. You couldn't tell me nothing because it was like, I've been getting my diamond check from the beginning. So it was like, lose rank, what's that, you know? And then December came around and I lost it and I wanted to die. I, I, I was so hurt, you know, don't let those things deter you because you know what? January came and then I had the highest volume ever. And then April came and I blew that out of the water. And then August came and it was, you know, it was just, it, it was, it was not August, but you know, it, it just kept growing. So never limit yourself. Never think that you are in this business long enough to know everything because you can learn something every time you get on these Zooms that are posting. I'm on everybody's Zoom. I see a Zoom, ooh, I'm there. <laughs> you know, so just build. Build, make this fun, love learning, and talk to people. Oh my gosh, I love so freaking much. And I think it's so important that you touch base on you went on YouTube, you took it among yourself and you went out there and you learned like, yes, we are business owners, but we are essentially students here. And it's truly up to us if we are going to get beyond where we are. And it's up to us to use the resources that are out there. I absolutely love going on YouTube and learning something new from the other leaders. So I love that you said that. So Whenever you first came into this business, I remember Lauren being like, oh my gosh, this girl's going to be a rock star. She showed us your Facebook and I'm like, Lauren, she better be a go-getter. And I'm pretty sure you're a go-getter. So, oh my gosh, Debbie, I am so glad that we did this tonight. And seriously, you continually inspire me. So I'm so happy for you. So excited for you. And I appreciate you doing this for everyone tonight. So share with us when is VIP happen for you? Ooh. Okay. So my goal is to be VIP well in this year. So I, you know what? When I went to conference, my goal was VIP by the end of the year. Um, because I'm not going to lie, being in the Navy, active duty, um, all this stuff, my husband, he's going on a boat soon. He'll be gone in and out. Um, I was just like, Ooh, presidential like scares me. You know, that so I'm like, Oh, I'm gonna get myself ready for, for, for VIP by the end of the year. So next year I could be pressed. No, <laughs> no, my goal is presidential right before, what is that? Green carpet. 
Oh my gosh, I love it. I can love it. <laughs> Let's see if Lauren wants to say a word before we close this off here, because I know she is so proud of you too. Thank you. Um, of course I do. I want to say a million things, but honestly, can you hear me okay? Okay. Yeah. But honestly, I mean, I think that she she does such a good job of explaining like how she does this business, how she runs this business. Um, and I think the biggest take always like if I could sum her up in one thing is that number one she you cannot like determine in your mind who's going to be good in this business because like she said like I mean she literally had 300 friends on Facebook but there was just something about her like when she did post I just like connected to her and loved like what she had to say um and then the next thing being is that I train sorry it's getting dark I had to move my kids just got home um I train all my people the exact same way um and you guys are gonna find that if you're newer in this business or maybe you're not so new in this business but I train everybody the same way she took everything I told her and she did it and she trusted me even though you know sometimes she'd be like Lauren and um I'd be like yes just do it and I promise you, like, trust me. And she's like, I don't even know you. Like, she always, like, kept it real, you know? Um, and I will say, like, you guys, I, if you don't know me being in this business, I've been in this business for, like, a little over four years. And I always tell people, like, you need five people who want to work as hard as you do to go ambassador. And I signed, like, my first two runners, um, you know, within my first two years of the business. And then Debbie was like my third year in the business. And so like, it's like, I'm on track of one a year. Um, and it's like, if I would have ever, I mean, her name said it all, Debbie go get it. Right. And, but I didn't think that she was going to be that one, but you, you cannot tell somebody's hustle. Like, I'm being really honest. Like I, I mean, she's like literally 30 levels down on my chart because she had 300 friends on Facebook, but like her hustle is so real and she has truly changed the dynamic of our team. Like she forces me to level up. Like I learned from her, like, and I think that that is so important to have on your team and to be humble enough to learn from your, from your team. Um, and then the two biggest things I typed it in the chat, but the two biggest things about Debbie that keeps her successful is that she is always the hardest worker in the room always like she is never waiting around for anybody else and she is so humble she literally never complains well so this is two parts humble and grat um, gratitude she's so grateful for everything that she has and you guys hear that come across in her zoom like she's not just saying that because it sounds good like she literally will say to me like I made $10 more than I did when I was crying on my couch, wondering how I was going to pay my kids bills or whatever. Um, and she is, she's always so grateful for every situation. She can always put a positive spin on it. And she always naturally sees the good side of it. Um, and then, you know, just being humble, like she can own her stuff. She can make fun of herself. Like when she does something stupid, she always looks in the mirror first. So like, even, you know, she said that was like one of her faults when her team quit, like, she does she wasn't sad for herself because her charts were falling apart like ever she was sad because she looked in the mirror and said well how did i fail my team like she is always shows up for her team every single day and like she wants success for them just as much as she wants it for herself and i think that's something that you can't fake and you have to be genuine about and you have to find that um drive in you otherwise like you can't go somewhere in this business this business is so much bigger than ourselves and she has been that person from day one. So anyways, I'm like over the moon. Everybody that knows, like, I mean, Debbie's ears are probably always ringing because I'm literally always talking about her and just so thankful to have her cross my path. I'm going to Virginia this weekend actually to visit her. Um, and I'm so excited because I've like, you know, we've seen each other at conferences, but we've never like gotten to hang out. And like, I'm taking Jack and we're celebrating Kamira's birthday. And like, this business, you guys, is so much bigger than anything. And I'm just so proud of you, Debbie. So thank you for being on tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And I mean, I just want to say, one of the reasons why I push so hard, of course, 
money is great, but I truly believe in if you do what you love, the money will follow. And I always liked helping people, but I used to help people in the wrong way. Like, and when I say the wrong way, um, I was always financially good. Um, right up until I got pregnant with my son, we just went through a really rough spot. So I was always the one that everyone would turn to for something, right? Um, and that became draining. Um, and when I joined this business, it was like, wow, I could help people and make an impact, you know? So it's like that saying, make an impact, make an income. My goal is to motivate and to inspire. If, if my paycheck goes up, it's because I am motivating and inspiring effectively. Oh my gosh. So freaking good. I have like so many like ahas and good nuggets that came from this. And I don't know about you guys, but I am so inspired after this. So thank you so much. And this like seriously far exceeded any expectations that I had of this Zoom. So thank you and go get some rest because you have your test tomorrow. So again, so excited for you. We are all cheering you on big time. So Thank you. Have a good night, everyone.